Welcome to my channel everybody, I'm John, and you might be wondering what I'm doing standing here or sitting here next to the Honda Trail 125 exhaust pipe. You can probably tell by the description that we're going to try something today on the uh, exhaust on this stock, bone stock, Trail 125. So when you flip through your owner's manual and then when you get the service manual for this bike, you're going to notice um, they're going to mention that there is a spark arrestor inside the tip of this exhaust pipe. It's not something that you'd probably ever know unless you read about it. And that to me, based on other bikes that I've played with, especially the Honda Monkey, spark arresters tend to limit exhaust flow uh, for um, purposes of catching any sparks that might come out of the engine or uh, deadening sound a little bit. And that's the one thing about this bike that you'll notice is it's almost silent. Uh, when I first got it, I noticed the chain was louder than the exhaust. So it was kind of funny coming from the Monkey where I change out the exhaust all the time uh, and they're all loud. So I really like that the bike is silent and uh, I don't want to make it louder. I'm happy with the stock pipe. I don't care that it has a catalytic converter on it. Uh, it it's cool that it's silent because of what I do with the bike. do a lot of work with it, use it for utility. Um, putting up and down uh, neighborhood roads, uh, just I want to keep this bike very usable and uh, just a jump on and go bike whenever I need it. I don't want it to be loud, basically. So I am curious on if it unlocks a little bit of horsepower though. I can't test this on the dyno, naturally, because I don't have a dyno, but what I can do is do a top speed run and see if it adds anything to the top speed or how the bike feels, uh, basically. So. What we're going to do is we're going to take this out and we're going to go do a high speed run down the street. The other day I got the bike up to 58 miles an hour stock, just nothing done to the bike except a cup holder. And that was interesting because I didn't think the bike would go that fast. So uh, uh, maybe we can improve on that and see if we can't hit 60 with this spark arrestor taken out. So not a big deal. I'm just curious. So hope you're curious too. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll show you how to pull this spark arrestor out and then we'll go take it for a ride. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is start up the bike and just give you an example of how quiet it is just with the stock pipe, everything the way it is like you'd buy from the dealer. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove the end cap out of this exhaust here, which is pretty straightforward. It's just three uh, Allen screws here. And if you have a T-handle, that'll make this job a lot easier. Just kind of fell right off there, so that worked out. And you got three eight millimeter bolts right down here, holding this spark arrestor plate on there. Okay, so as you can see, this spark arrestor is pretty big. It's um, got the typical spark arrestor screen and it's uh, got a curved pipe. So uh, it might, be given quite a bit of restriction. The only problem I see though is that this spark arrestor is the mount for the end cap. So we're clearly not going to be able to use the end cap on here without the spark arrestor unless uh, of course you were to want to cut the, um, the pipe off and then you'd have your mount for the end cap. So it's uh, probably not going to stay this way on my bike, but if it does increase a lot of speed and I like the way it sounds, then we'll have to figure out maybe I can buy this piece separate from OEM Honda and just cut the pipe off around it and kind of make my own setup. But we'll see. Let's see how it sounds though. I'm curious.
Okay, so as you can tell, there is a huge difference in the sound with that spark arrestor out of there. So it's got definitely a more aggressive tone to it, a little bit of rasp. So um, this might be the uh, sound upgrade that you're looking for without having to buy an aftermarket exhaust system. So basically the next thing we're gonna do is uh, gear up and we're gonna go hit the road and see how it sounds uh, in the helmet, do a little bit of a moto vlog. All right, so let's, uh, let's get suited up and hit the road. All right, so let's go try this thing on the road, see if it goes any faster. As always, I use the Rever app to track my speed. The speedometer is dead accurate, if not maybe one mile an hour slower compared to GPS, but I still like to have that cross reference. So we're just gonna record our ride. Take my typical top speed run in my typical location to keep things consistent. Can hear got a little bit more growl to it now. A little little pop in the exhaust. So uh, it's a it's got a little bit more sound to it. For those of you that don't enjoy silent riding, want a little bit more performance sound to your scooter. It's insane squirrels. resident sandhill cranes here in florida okay so we'll just cruise normally it's a little bit louder it's really not that obnoxious yeah it's it's really not that noticeable to tell you the truth i have my visor open so let's uh open it up a bit here might be more noticeable to those outside around me but as far as it sounded in the helmet it's not that much louder so if it increases the speed that's gonna be a pretty sweet deal it's a zero dollar modification that doesn't make the exhaust up obnoxiously loud so we're gonna start from a uh, a little rolling start here and then we're gonna tuck it we're gonna get our top speed let's go So that was surprising. It's totally not what I expected. Interesting. I expected to gain a mile per hour or two by uncorking the exhaust a little bit, but to tell you the truth, we lost a mile an hour. And the temperature's fair, it's not humid, there's not too much wind. So I think we just learned that um, where I thought you might get some horsepower from removing that spark arrestor, you actually didn't get anything at all. So, kind of disappointing. But if you like the sound, you get a little bit more sound out of it. So some people might like that, but I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna probably put it back in because we didn't just, we didn't see the uh, speed like we thought we would. Okay, so pretty simple ride, two miles. Um, max speed 56 miles an hour so I think we lost a mile an hour or two from the speed run I did the other day max speed 58 miles an hour so there we go that proves it on GPS and on my speedo that 
taking the spark arrestor out of the Trail 125 does not do a thing and it's actually worse for the bike. So unless you want a little bit poppier of a sound, a little bit raspier of a note, leave that thing in there and save yourself the trouble. But a fun experiment to do today and uh, we, we all learned something from it. I know I did that Honda tuned this bike to have that sort of exhaust flow on it. So the only way we'd be able to experiment for more power and more speed is if we were to put a catalytic converter free exhaust system on it. So basically a pipe without the cat on it. And that will kind of tell us if um, uncorking the exhaust completely is going to help. But we can say for sure that the spark arrestor insert in the back being removed does not help your top speed. And uh, the only thing it's really going to do is give you a little bit more raspy exhaust. So hope you guys enjoyed watching this, uh, performing this experiment with me. And kind of a bummer because I was looking to uncork some horsepower for you guys, although I was going to keep the insert in myself because I like the silent exhaust. Uh, we wanted to uh, just see if it worked. Just a fun little thing to do here on a Sunday morning. So uh, thanks again for watching. If you liked it, subscribe. Put a thumbs up for a like. If you disliked it, you can thumbs down it. Just tell me why because uh, I want to make sure I'm making the best content I can for y'all. And until next time, see you later.